decided to start off my 2021 with a bucket list. Number three, lose weight. Number two, travel to Mexico. And number one, get myself on the FBI watch list. Getting on the FBI watch list doesn't have to be difficult, it can be fun. First, we will raise red flags with your search history to get the FBI's attention. Next, we will execute the ways that your terroristic activities will lead to the FBI questioning you. And finally, we will run from the FBI and learning how to cross the border undetected. First, we will raise red flags. It is pretty common sense that looking up how to make a pipe bomb will create suspicion. Today, I will show you how. According to Ted Kaczynski's blog, making a fertilizer bomb is the easiest. What you need is one fourth cup of flour, one fourth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, two tablespoons of oil and water, and then heat in the microwave for a minute and a half. Crap, that's a mug cake. Well, <laughs> let's step up our game and make a nuclear weapon. Kim Jong-un states that it is even easier to make a nuke. What you need is a nuclear scientist. Lucky for me, I know one of those. For those who are having problems getting a hold of uranium to commit mass destruction, there are easier ways to get on the watch list, such as hiring a hitman from the dark web. While consulting with the famous hitman, Mr. Rogers, he told me the easiest way to access the dark web was to shut off the lights while you reboot your computer. Since I have been unsuccessful in getting on the dark web to find a hitman, we will now discuss conspiracy theories. While many new theories are coming up about COVID, I prefer to stick to the more realistic ones, like how JFK shot first, or Lyndon B. Johnson did it. Perhaps there are lizard people living among us. Wikipedia.org states that there's factual evidence that Hitler did not commit suicide. The government is putting chemicals in the water to make the frogs gay. Or how people say that the moon landing was fake or wrong because there is no moon. The government is poisoning us for mind control. Transition. Next, we will execute the ways that your terroristic activities will lead to the FBI questioning you. Have you ever forgotten something important somewhere? Yeah, don't do that at the airport. They searched my bag after my alarm clock went off. <laughs> I was put on the no-flight list. Oh, that's where my bag is. It's always handy to keep your bag on you. Another thing that can get the FBI sent on you is to talk about blowing things up. According to Global News, a man at a Kansas Home Depot made bomb threats three times when apparently he was just making jokes about having to poo. The employee misheard the man say that he was going to blow up the toilet. During a global pandemic, you can never have too much of anything. However, you don't want to have too much of anything. In the months of March and April, the whole U.S. had a shortage of toilet paper. That is a very suspicious buy. Many people have been arrested and beheaded for owning more than one roll per household. Rest in peace, Gramps. <laughs> Next, duct tape. While maybe not the FBI, but the local police will question you and the starving children in your basement. The children will put you away for a very long time. More time than Uncle Joe got for drunk driving. The last potentially dangerous buy <coughs> is rubber duckies. While the government won't let you know this, there are microchips embedded in their squeakers that record everything you say. The government is always watching you. <laughs> Transition. Finally, we will run from the FBI and learning how to cross the border undetected. Now, keep in mind that all Canadians are polite and will do anything to keep their noses clean. 
those little snitches. Anyway, you always want to head south because Mexico is warm, Canada is cold. Do you see my point? <laughs> Mexico's government is cooler than Canada's and won't do anything to deport you back to the United States. So, what you want to do is make a flight plan. To do that, you need to log on to a shady airline website, such as Southwest. Southwest is the shadiest of the shady when it comes to planes. They have all these colors to make it seem like you're not going to die, but you will, just like Amelia Earhart. <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure she wasn't on a Southwest airline. Once you have a flight plan, you will need a fake ID. See, mine says I am Enrique Mendoza Gutierrez, which fits me perfectly. <laughs> to obtain a fake ID, you need a white middle-aged dumpster diver to help you find the perfect card. Once you have the card, you have to make sure that the picture looks like you, not Aunt Bethany who has a fake eye and a mustache. And when it comes to IDs, the more expensive, the better. I got mine cheap and it doesn't look real in the slightest. My name was taped on it and there's this word, void, punched through it. <laughs> to keep yourself anonymous once you cross the border, living in a dumpster with a feral cat who was fitly named garbage is essential. Once a week, your furniture gets rearranged <laughs> for free. <laughs> and you must always remember to lie to your family about where you are going. If the FBI summons you, they will also question your family. And if they say that you are in Africa helping starving children, that would be a lot less suspicious than crossing the border. And once you cross the border, you can never come back. You are a scavenger now with garbage. We have now discussed how to raise red flags with your search history to get the FBI's attention. Next, we executed the ways that your terroristic activities will lead to the FBI questioning you. And finally, we ran from the FBI and learning how to cross a border undetected. Getting on the FBI watch list doesn't have to be difficult, it can be fun. <laughs> Men in black are coming. I have a flight to catch.